Welcome to another edition of the 90 Second Spotlight featuring Pass It On. Not really sure what the strategy Pass It On is? As a millennial, it reminds me of sitting in class and passing notes. Not that I ever really pass notes in class. But Pass It On is a strategy that comes from Castle's um, Signature Practices Playbook. So it is a great strategy that utilizes some of the SEO competencies, but can be integrated into academic content because that's also that's always a question that surfaces for us is how do I incorporate SEO into my academic content? And so for this particular strategy, it is a great way to review concepts taught. So at the end of a unit, perhaps as a review strategy or a strategy to pull from your toolkit to spiral review. If we're doing spiral reviews um, before class, this is a great low stakes way to get students writing and collaborating. All they need is a piece of paper and a pencil. Students will fold their paper into individual blocks and you can have them fold it so they have six blocks, four, eight, whatever time allows. Students are gonna put their name in the top left-hand corner, and then the teacher is going to give them one to two minutes to fill in a key concept, idea, takeaway from that particular unit of study. Then students pass their paper to someone sitting next to them or someone in their pod. That person then puts their name at the top of their block and adds a new key concept, fact, takeaway from the unit. And you're going to continue to do that until all the blocks are filled. The idea is that you're not repeating the same um, takeaway, that it would be each block would contain a new idea. At the end, you could pair this with something like a numbered heads together, a Kagan strategy, or a timed pair share um, to, to incorporate that academic talk along with um, the written review there. But it is a great way, and if you look at the Signatures Practices Playbook, um, this SEL activity helps to develop self-awareness, self-efficacy, um, working on those relationship skills, and then helping students become reflective practitioners within the classroom.